Well, it's Monday, April 15th, 2019, and tragedy has struck the country of France uh, today as the world watched in horror uh, the, uh, the ca Cathedral of Notre Dame burning uh, and beginning to, uh, beginning to collapse. And uh, it begs the question for many Christians, is this a prophetic sign of the times regarding the state of the church in Europe? Is it a prophetic sign of the times regarding the state of the church in Europe? You see, the Notre Dame Cathedral has been a symbol of Christianity in Europe for centuries. And today, it's burning to the ground. People have been doing stats and research on the decline of Christianity in Europe. And today's burning of the cathedral at Notre Dame is certainly a picture of what has happened to the Judeo-Christian values in Europe as a whole. And the, the question that one needs to ask themselves, will people finally wake up? Or will we write it off as another coincidence? As we look around at Islamic terrorism and we look around at anti-Semitism on the rise, especially in France, as we look at Muslim Islamic immigration to Europe and the multiplication uh, among uh, offspring in which the population rate among Islamic people is setting the course for Europe to be uh, retaining large swaths of Islamic influence. Is this a wake-up call? Is this a sounding of the sirens from God saying, wake up Europe, turn to me. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, then will, and, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and, 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 and forgive their sin and heal their land. Some may say, you, you sound crazy. It's just a fire. It was probably an accident. But this isn't just any fire, and this isn't just any church. When it relates to the time and the season, that the church faces in Europe, a time in which lethargy of spirituality is on the rise, in which, in which agnosticism is becoming more and more prevalent, in which people have turned from the faith of generations past. And we've seen the repercussions of that in terms of governmental policy, where Europe has lost its influence in the world. And anti-Semitism against Jewish people has become just looked at as not a big deal. And we see Judeo-Christian values taking a back seat. I believe the burning of the Cathedral of Notre Dame today should wake us up, whether you see it as a prophetic sign or not. It is certainly a picture of the state of the church in Europe. And so I'm making this video as a clarion call to God's people all throughout France, all throughout England, all throughout Germany, all throughout Europe. Wake up. Turn to God. Leave behind your ways of wickedness. And let's believe God for a mighty revival throughout the entirety of Europe. Let's begin to seek His face. Let's begin to repent of our sins. Let's begin to become uh, let's let the sign of this burning church be not a church that's burning to a ground, but a church that is burning with the fire of God to preach the gospel to the world once again. Where Europe used to be a leader in terms of gospel initiatives, it's now known as a place in decline. Let us become those on fire for God once again. Let this become a call to every European Christian to set aside the distractions, to set aside the sin that so easily entangles and begin to seek God for a mighty revival once again. 
the mighty revivals of old need to become the mighty revivals of our day. God is ready to do it, but are we going to turn from our wicked ways? That's the question. We need to remember that this principle of prayer and turning from our sin is absolutely critical to a time of revival in which God changes the hearts of the people of Europe. What a sad day, but it can be a turning point for God's people if we will let the Spirit speak to us where we've become complacent. We need to become fervent for His glory once again. God bless. Let's pray. Father, we pray for the the Christians all throughout Europe, and we pray that you would fan the flame within their hearts. God, that revival would break forth in all of Europe. And Lord, that those who have taken, uh, uh, you know, kind of a back seat in terms of their faith, Lord, that you would revitalize them once again. That this day would not mark the turning of events towards a further decline of your goodness and your glory in Europe, but it would be a time for your remnant, your, 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 those who are called by your name to humble themselves and pray and truly seek your face, believing for great miracles once again all throughout Europe, all throughout France. God, turn, turn Paris into a place where the gospel is preached boldly and miraculously. Turn France into a beacon of the gospel to the world once again. We just pray, God, that you would take what has been meant for evil and turn it for good. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless. I hope that that resonated with you and uh, let us continue to pray for Europe and the state of the church.